Disclaimer, all of these stories are true and they're a little spooky. I made this custom doll of Jessie V a few weeks ago. There's a video link down below. And yes, Jessie, you are allowed to use this video for your video compilation if you choose. As a child, I was a little clairvoyant. I would have dreams that would come true. As a kid, I was home taught. I dreamed that I was in school. It was a small classroom. The teacher was extremely tall and really blonde. After a move from New York, I was enroll enrolled in regular school. One day, I was looking out past my desk and at my teacher, an athletic, tall, blonde, obsessed with oral hygiene. I was even wearing the same outfit that I was in my dream, which was a t-shirt and shorts, and I never wear a t-shirt and shorts. I got chills. I literally lived on land where Native Americans were murdered. Several family members have seen apparitions, including my older sister, who was never prone to fits of lunacy. This very sane girl saw a man in our basement, a man who quickly vanished into thin air. Soon after, our, do our dog, Black Beauty, started bar barking at the corner of the room. A dark, cold, ominous feeling filled my home. I went into my grandmother's room where my mother was with my grandmother. I was not a young child, but a teenager afraid of some entity I could not see. All night, I could not sleep. I fell asleep for but a half an hour altogether that night. When I went to sleep, my eyes looked normal. When I drifted off and woke up, my eyes had turned blood red. At least the oppressive feeling, the heaviness that was in my chest, was gone when I returned home from church. I hope you enjoyed this spooky um, story time. Subscribe if you have not already. Happy Halloween. I'm thinking of doing Vlogoween, but I'm not sure yet. Comment down below if you think I should. And comment down below any of your spooky stories.